Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. I hope you're doing good. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 11. Yes, believe it or not, Windows 11. To be honest, I really never thought that one day I'll be coming back to Windows 11. Now, let me tell you how it's all started, like from the beginning, you know? So my dad needed uh, an upgrade. He calls an upgrade. It's an upgrade for him, but for me, it is a downgrade. He had Windows on two or three, yeah, three of his machines. And they had to just upgrade the thing. And he was like, yeah, can you install Windows 11 on this and this and that? And I was like, dude, you're the one that's teaching me about this whole thing, computers and stuff, and now you cannot even install Windows 11? And he was like, oh, yeah, it's getting complicated. And you know what? I, I get it. He's right. He's absolutely right. Microsoft is kind of uh, when it's about making things easier to install and deal with. And uh, signs, you know, two of his machines, the third is supported, but two of his uh, laptops were unsupported. So I had to do the thingies in order to get it working. Now, believe it or not, if I show you how to do it, if I just like give you a hint on how to bypass the thing and install everything, this video is going to be taken down. Believe it or not, yes. And uh, yeah, I installed everything. And once I was done with everything, how many times I said everything? Anyways, once I was done, I was left with a USB with Windows 11 on it. And I was like, huh, for it formatted because that thing contained an ISO with seven gigs and it's just Windows 11. Isn't that a shame? Microsoft's? Why seven gigs? No, 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 just make it 10 gigs, so that's fine. Keep going, keep going. What are you trying to achieve with this? Why the installation media need to be 7 gigs? Anyways, I just decided to install it on this machine over here. I was like, you know what, let me just install it on my old machine, my old PC, because this is not my main PC, as you can see. If I go over here, and I go over here, you know, where, 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 how do I, oh yeah. There you go. So it's an Intel Core i5 6500. Yeah, the, the PC that they used for a long time now, but I had to upgrade to a whole different thing uh, because uh, God damn it's slow. Eight gigs. Uh, yeah, because I stole a, actually I saw a memory stick, not gonna lie. It had 16, but you know, I downgraded to eight because why not? I needed the other one sick. And yeah, Intel HD graphics. Now, sadly, this machine is not supported by Microsoft or by Microsoft's Windows 11, doesn't matter. But what makes this more interesting is the fact that it's running just fine on this hardware. So the first question that I'm asking, why on earth there is a system requirements, like hardware requirements, if Windows 11 can be installed on a 20 year old machine? Why do requirements, like I know, yeah, TPM 2.0, no, 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 why don't you just remove that? Okay, and let everyone install it. It's kind of silly. Like, just let people install Windows 11 without making it harder for them. Like, let's say you care about their privacy and you care about their whatever, but in the same time, let them use it on their own risk. Even if it's not compatible with their machines, even if it's going to be slow sometimes, or maybe most of the time. But come on, Microsoft. People have things to do. They don't care about how slow is Windows 11. Some people use this piece of crap that you call Windows 11 or their jobs, you know, they, they need Windows 11. Anyways, the first thing I saw to when I install Windows 11 is basically deactivating everything I call deactivate because why the f*** will they keep everything on? I removed the recommended section, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, they want me to allow it to so show you recent files and new apps, turn them on in settings, launch starts settings let's just do that to deactivate even more things oh i already had things deactivated sorry microsoft it's not my fault now i already can tell that there is some little changes here and there for example they added a blue line under this thing and they made it more rounded what a crazy change yeah microsoft keeps surprising me every single time let's see uh, if i can really personalize that thing even more also the last time i used windows 11 was like seven months ago i've been using linux this whole time and oh my god i can't believe that i really don't know how to use windows anymore background colors themes dynamic lights no dynamic lighting compatible device detected so can i deactivate this yes incompatible apps 
No, 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 I don't need this. I don't know what this option is for. Seems, do we have any new teams, Microsoft? Uh, well, we do kind of, no, really, we don't. Nope, still the same. Desktop icons, wait, well, what are those? Oh, yeah, turn on all of this, definitely. Ah, no, I wanted to click on apply. I don't know, but I have a feeling that I will break this whole system. Also, this video is over. Yeah, I, I literally want to do this so bad. A low what? I didn't read that. But hey, we have all these in the desktop. And we still have the control panel that Microsoft says they will remove it. They still didn't. Microsoft, you're a liar. Why we still have the control panel? That's a really good question. Go back over here. Personalize, background, colors. Yeah, let's change some colors. Transparency effects. You know, if I'm going to be honest, this thing should be deactivated because for some reasons it just consumes more memory and more CPU and more everything for no specific reason. Go back over here. Where the the thing he is so 31 percent 27 percent 25 and that's on idle but if i go to just a web browser for example and open this let's just keep this opened oopsies 65 <laughs> if i open a youtube video which i cannot really oh let me actually just search for close this one uh go back over here yeah let's open when it's annoying it's, it's like you know it's useful because you have uh, a way to manage your tabs but at the same time it's annoying so 41 percent let me just select one of my videos man yeah i hope i oh no uh yep mm -hmm. did i misspelled my name i probably did there you go yeah let's just take one of those videos over here for example this one but i gotta yeah okay so we have no sounds which is ladies good. and gents welcome back again and wow, 64? Okay, that's the GPU right there. What about the CPU? Oopsies. That's 83%. Damn, the CPU is really uh, struggling over here. Even the integrated GPU. Well, let's lower the quality to some... Oh, it's running on... <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. It's not even running on 1080p or 720p. What if I do 720? Yep. 81 yeah this is really demanding bro if i use the same pc on linux i promise you it's it's not even gonna reach three percent while i'm recording and listening to music and doing everything at the same time it's barely gonna reach 50 percent or 60 percent but on windows it just struggling which is bad well i just wanted to see what is going on with this wait what if i just uh put this like this on idle Okay, so we're on the desktop doing nothing. 30%. 40%. Yeah, Windows 11 is like so hungry, man. 70? Why Why is it idling that bad? This is the, the real question. Why? Is this because I'm recording? I mean, I'm not even recording 1080p. I'm recording 720 because my screen is shit. But like GPU, 30%. Okay. Okay. Memory, 4 gigs. Ah, man. Microsoft, please why four gigs why 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 that doesn't make no sense why do you need to use a whole four gig just on idle bro switch to linux that's how i will say bro like bro 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 i don't know what to say anymore like on linux comparing to linux because i use this exact machine on linux on arch endeavor cache all of those combined and none of them even reach the 10 percent or 20 percent utilization like that's the the maximum ram they could take when idling but this it taken half and if i just start using the web browser or something or just doing some something really silly it's gonna go up to five or six or seven or goddamn eight let's open this pc let's see if this is gonna be uh making this computer demand even more what about uh a notepad come on what about a notepad yeah yeah that's so ugly co-pilots yep it's going up all right let's open more things what else i can open a media player sure here you go are you gonna reach four gigs oppa we reach four gigs anything else come on let's make it five let's make it five yeah, just a web browser. Here you go. Five. Oh, four. Damn. That's not even Chrome. That's Firefox, bro. <laughs> what if I open two tabs? It's still the same. What if I open three? Okay, what if I open five? Okay, what if I open YouTube? And open YouTube over here as well. And no. It, okay. Are we reaching five? 
Let's open Reddit over here. Huh. Interesting. 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 Can we make a Switch 5? Come on. I'm still not doing anything still. Like, like th th this is nothing. This is nothing. I'm not doing anything. It's just some simple web browsing with some little apps opened here and there, like a notepad or whatever, but five gigs. Well, if you have just eight gigs of memory, please upgrade or install Linux. And those 11 is now for you. This is really so hungry for resources. No, I'm still not doing any gaming on this, even though it's not capable of doing gaming. But imagine, let's say you want to listen to some music while playing a game, or just have a couple tabs opened here and there while you're playing a game, that's impossible because be already taken five gigs of your memory. Or let's say you have multiple monitors, like the least we could take is two, right? And you have some video playing in the background and you're playing, let's say, uh, I don't know, GTA 4 or GTA 5, whatever, and you have only eight gigs, dude, I promise you, it's just not going to work. And it's also going to make your performance way worse. But anyways, just a quick reminder. Now, to not waste a lot of time, nothing really changed, okay? Since the last time, the only difference that I found is AI. And this really is. The notepad now has AI. If we go to paints, which I was, you know, messing around with. If we go to paints, now it has AI. The last time I had Windows 11 installed on this exact machine, it didn't have AI. And now it does. Now, what can I do with this AI? Let's just... Oh, it's an image create. Huh? Remove background? That's, that's really it. I heard about something called... Uh, I don't know. You you select an image, right? Let's just take a screenshot. How, how do I take a screenshot in this? I don't remember. Uh, Windows delete? No. Uh, FN? I don't remember. Go over here. Uh, Where is the screenshots thing? Dude, that feels so strange. Maybe it's somewhere over here. Oh, I need to go to the settings. Back up your PC to Microsoft account. Nope. Go back over here. Where do I add more options? Cannot add more things here. Okay. I think it's called snipping tool. Yes. Now I can take a screenshot, right? Just like that. And look, AI. Now where is AI? There is AI. There must be AI. That's impossible. Oh, I can now record that whole video with this. Hmm, interesting. Actually, they're useful, you know? You don't need to install OBS in order to record a simple little thing you were doing on your PC. Well, okay, keep it on this. And now I can edit on paints, all right? But I can save it. Where can I save it? Can I save it on the desktop? Yep, save it over here. And now I believe if I click on this, an AI tool will pop up. And here you go. I was right. Wait, now why would I need this? Let's say I have Photoshop or I have... Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's working. Sorry. It's working, but it's not really working. So AI actions, I cannot do anything. Send to my phone, share, set to desktop background. Yeah, sure. That's, uh, that sounds uh, a bit cursed, but hey, take a look at this. Yeah, tell me about it. What's the best wallpaper ever? Let me tell you, this is the best wallpaper ever. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like have uh, a set of, uh, huh. Now, if I if I take another screenshot, you know, actually, let me do that real quick. How can I do a new one using this? Here you go. And then I save it, right? To the desktop of course and then i said and then i said this as my wallpaper just like that now if i take this and put it over here i have three of these now if i keep doing this all day i will be able to make a whole screen full of the same icons and hide the original ones somewhere in here or in the middle somewhere it doesn't matter and the person that will be using this computer will get confused because he won't find out which ones of these are clickable? That's a bit evil, but yeah. Uh, anything else I can do with Windows 11 before I break it? No, I'm not really going to be able to break it on video because uh, I'm recording on the same PC, which means I will lose the things I recorded. But yeah, I'll definitely do that later on. Terminal, na na na, na 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 na, na 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 na. Okay, that's really it. Oh, time to delete some apps like this i don't need you why do i need help i don't need no help you need help microsoft i don't okay i can now remove you good i will i will i'll definitely do that my own way later on paints i don't think i need paints bye see you later snipping tool nah i can just take my own screenshots somehow with another app this is open source because i only use open source apps uh 
notepad. Yeah, remove. I don't need a notepad. I definitely don't need a notepad. Microsoft Teams. Why do I need Microsoft Teams? Do you guys use Microsoft Teams? Anything else? Anything else? A camera? Oh, yeah. Microsoft is definitely using that to spy on me, so... Yep, even though I don't have no camera connected to that device, but still, they probably open my cam and spy on me. I don't want to be spied on. And yeah, I guess I cleaned this thing. Oh, I still didn't. No, Microsoft do. Imagine you need to delete all of these just to use a PC normally and not deal with that kind of bloatware. That's why we have Linux. No bloatware whatsoever. Um, Phone link. I can remove. Oh, photos. Yeah. Wait, before I delete it, what can I do with this? Download in Microsoft. There is nothing to show up. What do you want? me to download okay let's open this image with photos double click where's the ai i expect to see ai everywhere it must be here no this is not microsoft that made this there's no ai oh yeah the yep mm -hmm. this one doesn't have ai but paint does because that will microsoft want you to do right you're gonna use an image viewer but you cannot edit your image really but you need to go to paint to edit that image somehow with ai of course yeah, I need to mention AI every single time. So, calculator. Does a uh, calculator have AI? Microsoft? Come on. I expect to see AI. It must be somewhere. In Let's search. Mm, there is no AI. Okay, close. Anything else? If I open this PC, where is AI? Okay, enough, enough, enough. Enough AI. Enough. Enough. I guess that's really it. Nothing interesting. It's still the same. There is no visual changes whatsoever. No new wallpapers. Like, the least you could do is add a new wallpaper. Microsoft, you're so lazy to... Find yourself a wallpaper and edits, no? To make us feel like we're using a whole different operating system because as you guys know, the 25 H2 uh, major release wasn't that well ago, right? Like only like a month ago? I don't remember how long it's been, but yeah. I guess I'm using the exact version, right? Let's do Windows R and then go with WinVer. Yeah, it's version 25 h2 and believe me or not the only changes they have done is they added more ai and nobody can prove me wrong when it's about that like you could say whatever you want to say in the comment section and hate on me but this is the reality there is no major changes just more ai like this this is what you call a change i don't think this is worth you know using windows 11 for like let's just be honest rather than that that's windows 11 still the same even almost a year later the last time i used this as i said was seven months ago or like eight months ago i don't remember when i switched to linux but it didn't change that's bad signs that microsoft is working only on the performance side because they know they <coughs> that up but instead of fixing the performance bugs and all of that they made windows 11 accidentally more resources hungry is bad anyways this is my opinion your opinion might be different and that's why we have the comment section so please leave a comment and let me know what you think about windows 11 and will you still use windows 11 or stick to windows 10 for example or maybe even switch to linux just like i did the best decision i ever took anyways i'll see you in the next one Bye bye